Welcome back. Here we are with Ida School Part 2, Butterflies City and Heaven's Cradle. Chapter 1, Welcome to Ida City. Aldo bumps into the occult writer once again. Looks like he's going to be dragged around as a special reporter again. He didn't really do a great job last time. He did all the things, then he just kind of left. The occult reporter was like, where did that guy go I was talking to? Huh? It's you, the Swordmaster. Where have you been all this time? Uh, do I know you? I feel like I do, but I can't remember your name. I can't believe you forgot me. Well, I'm widely known as the top reporter for Idol School's newspaper club. My true skill lies in following up on rumors of all things occult and uncovering shocking mysteries. Ah, now I remember. You gave me the Ida School Pass. Really appreciate it. You did me and my friends a huge favor back then. Ha ha ha. It was no biggie. Anyway, you duped me. What? What did I do? I knew it. You forgot all about it. You promised to report your findings to me. Did I? Oh, sorry. I caught up in some other things and it slipped my mind. <sighs> the rumors about disappearing students suddenly stopped and my investigation came to a standstill. I never managed to uncover the truth about the mysterious idea group in the end. The editor was furious with me. I'm trembling just thinking about all the things she said to me. It's all because you never came back to share the intel with me. I made you a special reporter all for nothing. Ah, right. I remember you calling me that. I'm sorry. I mean it. Now, I don't know what to say. I wasn't expecting you to fight back. To not fight back? Uh, I missed it. Wait, what did she say? Now it's going to bother me. Whatever. I guess it's understandable if you were that busy. I forgive you. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. That's why I couldn't figure it out. I was expecting you to fight back. There it is. Oh, wait. Come to think of it, I heard that the incident was solved owing to some mysterious individual. Was it by chance you? No way. Why would I do such a thing and keep it a secret from you? Your reaction is mighty suspicious. You can't fool my reporter's sixth sense. Fess up. Sounds like something newsworthy is happening here. Calling dibs on the interview rights. Ugh, not them. Uh, this is creepy. Where did they spring out from? Better watch out. If they get a hold of you, they'll squeeze every bit of info out of you. They might think they think might be in They'll squeeze every bit of info out of you they think might be interesting. I might want to pass on that. They're occult reporters like me. Long without anything to write about, so they're starved for occult rumors and gossip that they pounce on people like hungry zombies. Info. Give us juicy info. Leave him alone. I found him first. So if anyone interviews him, it's me. Back off. He's our prey. These are freaking creepy as hell. Here, I have a topic for you. The mystery the mystery of creepy as heck occult reporters. Here's our chance to escape. The bus has just pulled up. Wait for me. Dang, I guess I should follow after her. Yo, that is creepy. What the crap is going on? <laughs> Freaky kids. Alright, to the bus. Huh? I don't remember the bus being this color. You're so slow. This is a shuttle bus going to Ida City. Once we get there, we'll be safe. Hurry up. R right. So we going to Ida City now. Place. 
Goodbye to you too, bus. Where are we? Are we really still in the Ida region? Sure we are, and a safe distance away from the school and my pesky cloak colleagues. You said this place is called Ida City? Is it your first time here? The whole city is pretty much our college town. It's got everything we need for a comfy life. Clothes shops, restaurants, dorms, entertainment, hospital, and definitely lots of occult rumors that you don't hear at the school. I had a bad feeling about this. Did you drag me all the way here to have me collect information for you? Teehee, you are the special reporter after all. Do your job properly this time. I knew it. <sighs> if you help me invest investigate this mystery, I won't tell my club about your role in the other incident. That's blackmail, and you have no proof anyway. But, let's say I do help you. What's this mystery about? Buckle up, this is going to be a real shocker. A mysterious person selling suspicious foods has been showing up in the city. What sort of foods? Blue apples? It's called Wonder Menu, apparently. It's supposedly so delicious it defies logic, and one bite is enough to get you absolutely hooked on it. Is good food so hard to come by in this college town that no one, that one decent shop makes everyone suspicious? There's something else that's really weird about it. The seller seems to disappear every time you try to find him. He's elusive like a ghost. Okay, you've got me interested. I'll check it out for you. It's all you want from me, right? You're quick on the uptake. Good luck. I'll be carrying out my own investigation in parallel to yours. Come to see me when you've got something. Don't leave me hanging like before. Ah, the sweet, magical whisperings. How irresistible. Just one bite and you have to keep coming for more. I bet it's a dessert menu. Sweet treats you can't get enough of. I'll get to the bottom of this. you hear the latest info about the wonder menu? It's a dessert menu, and the seller is a bit of an oddball. He never opens his mouth. Maybe he's been eating nothing but desserts and all his teeth fell out so he keeps his mouth shut. No way, that'd be silly. Sure. Ooh, Ida City. The Garden of Ida. Okay. It's kind of a weird area to just walk through. Oh, there's a sparkly up there. The Wonder Menu. Hmm, maybe you've heard about it. Ah, the addictively delicious treats. People who have tried them search for the seller all over the town craving more. The thing is, he changes location. It's almost impossible to find again. The seller looks really unusual, I heard. In what way? He's completely hairless. No eyebrows, eyelashes, nothing. Maybe it's to avoid fake complaints about finding hair in the food from people who want to eat without paying. That's weird. Kind of clever. Uh, sparkly. Oh, a star mark scrap. Gonna need quite a few of those. Hey, you over there. Don't even try to pretend I ain't talking to you. Whoa, dang. It's the skull guys. Shark guys. So, uh, what the crap are they? I don't remember. I ain't seen your face around here before. Do you know who we are? Let's go with no. Yeah, well, I guess I can't blame you for not knowing. We started up pretty recently, after all. We're the Shark Swarm. An up-and-coming gang of humble sharks who strive to be just like our great leader. And I'm in charge around here, named Sharky. Now, now that you do know who we are, it's time to hand them over. Huh? Heart mark scraps? What makes you think we collect something like that? Do we look like a hearty bunch to you? Oh, don't you know? Let me break it down for you. Star mark scraps. We're all about them stars, bro. You got some on you, don't you? We're collecting star mark scraps. Apparently, they're scattered all over Ida City. 
I'm usually, uh, what the teachers say? Oh yeah, loitering around here, so bring them to me here. Got it? You better not think about running off with them, selling them for a sweet profit or anything else. Okay. So that's where I'm gonna turn in the shark, shark star, star mark scraps. There's the second one. Neat. Wonder menu. I don't really follow news on eateries. What about you? My friend mentioned something about it to me the other day. The seller seems ageless. He may be immortal. Immortal? Heh. <laughs> I'd like to meet him and see it for myself. I've heard all sorts of things about this guy, but nothing's helpful at all. What have I got on him? Hairless? Never opens his mouth? Immortal? What a load of nonsense. It's like a game of telephone. Got no choice but to look for someone who sort of fits the description, though. Let's check out the Garden of Ida first. Okay, back to the garden. In the Garden of Ida, baby. Doesn't seem to be here. Then again, if he's really a ghost, finding him won't be easy. Ugh. His inefficiency is driving me nuts. It'd be child's play for my cursed eye. Suzette? No way. What would she be doing here? No secrets can be kept from me. My evil eye sees all. So is it a cursed eye or an evil eye? What an impudent suggestion. I'm the princess of the netherworld, summoned by the call of the occult. Now, let me take a look around. Yes, yes, I can see it. You can trust my cursed eye. Here's the person we've been looking for. Hello, what nice weather we're having. I'm glad it's not raining. Dealing with rust is something awful. It's an android, and we're looking for a human, Suzette. Oh, how could I have made such a mistake? This isn't right. My fortune for today was about a lucky encounter. She's a fortune reader? No, of course not. My amethyst crystal ball from the netherworld lets me glimpse the future sometimes, though. Why are you using a crystal ball if you have an all-seeing cursed eye? Hold on, isn't that android the owner of the Wonderman you stole? We've arrived at the same conclusion, I see. I was following a different lead, and it pointed me to this android, too. It was Suzette's guess, but it can't be him. He doesn't fit the description I put together based on the rumors. Or wait, does he? No hair, check. Doesn't open mouth when talking, check. Doesn't age, check. So it is the android. Ha! My cursed eye is never wrong. I bet it was pure luck. If you guys are right about it, that reminds me of what I've seen in Saki's dream world. Who are you? This is a dark apple. Eat it and your wishes will be granted. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right, that did happen. What if the wonder menu is just dark apples? What's all this commotion about? Got a problem with my vending android? If you're not buying anything, stop badgering him. You're his owner? What kind of business are you doing here if you don't mind telling us? Well, if you're interested, my dad's got a confectionery in City East. He's been trying to open a branch in City West too, but it's been no go so far. At least he got a license for limited sales of dulcet dulce. Dulcet dul- what? So it's got nothing to do with dark, dark apples then. Phew. What sort of apples are those? Uh, never mind. Not a very good kind. We've heard rumors of your shop popping up in random places and disappearing as if by magic, though. Really? I guess that's because we keep very limited stock. So as soon as it's sold out, my android packs up and leaves. Trap. Nothing supernatural about it in the end. Ugh, 
I can't wait any longer. I must try the dulce dulce, else my hunger will bring a terrible netherworld curse upon you. She crawled out of the netherworld just to try these rare sweets. Heh, <laughs> if you insist, I can let you try it. It's good publicity for me. Really? Oh, thanks. Munch. Urgh. You okay, Suzette? Did he get stuck in your throat or something? N no. <laughs> She's lost for words at how delicious it is. Might be a little too sweet, but... It's not sweet. What? That's impossible. I measured out the sugar myself. But it's not. Not one bit. Let me see. According to my instant sweetness measurement kit... Okay. Instant sweetness measurement kit. It's well within range. And on the high end, actually. A dessert that's not sweet despite containing loads of sugar. That's going to be my new scoop. Don't publish anything about my dulce dulce without checking with me first. Or I'll sue you for defamation. You can't do that. Excuse me, I've got to take this call. Say again? City East is flooded. Are you out of your mind? There's no way that could happen in Ida City with its cutting-edge flood prevention systems. Just what is going on over there? An eerie bell's clang resounds throughout the park. What was that? The clock tower bell. It shouldn't ring at this hour. Look, the clock hands have stopped. It's broken? But this is the most accurate clock in all of Elzion. It's been working without a hitch ever since it was made. This is the harbinger of the great disaster foretold a thousand years ago. What prophecy is that? What's supposed to happen? You're so gullible. Don't listen to that nut job. Have you heard? A man has been seen flying around Aqua Hills. The university hospital's on fire. It went up in flames all of a sudden. Could it be the year 1100 problem? That was already resolved last year. But I heard it was only a partial fix and that the real trouble is only going to start now. This is huge. Oh, I need to check out the flood in East City. But the Aqua Hills incident and the fire at the hospital are also newsworthy. If only there was another me. Thanks for your help. I'll see you later. Looks like I've walked right into one big mess. Oh, dang. The butterflies. Quest complete. Alright, that was uh, Ida School Part 2. Butterfly City and Heaven's Cradle, Chapter 1. Welcome to Ida, Ida City. Thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, I'll catch you all next time. Thanks.